Forbidden Lands, A Shadow of the Colossus Coaster, contest submission sent in one by one of our Discord new builders, Shadow Lugia 7 11 and they say hello johnny this is shadow and i present to you the forbidden lands this coaster is based off the game of shadow of colossus i know you might be thinking didn't riddler revenge already make one the answer is yes riddler did <laughs> uh i picked shadow of the colossus because i thought it would create a great experience using the backdrop however you will find that the development nicknames for this coaster chain lift to purgatory and colossus climbing simulator are both very accurate despite despite its kinks i hope you can enjoy this coaster and the scenery showcased here i worked very hard on the colossi and the station so you might want to take a peek at the statues and idols i hope you enjoy this coaster all right everyone we have a single rail basilisk one of the hardest coasters to get smooth from a new builder let's hopefully he did a good job it's a tricky one to use probably would have gone with a giga coaster but we will take a closer look after we have a 5.73 excitement 4.40 fear and a 1.24 nausea there's the rest of the results and let's get right on into it.
All right, do the uh, absolutely crazy length of this coaster. I think we're just going to ride it in that one perspective here today. If you guys want to check it out, uh, ride it multiple perspectives, you could do so by following the links down in the description. Um, now, the Colossi were very cool. I quite like the climb of the Colossi and uh, different ones in each one of the sections. Very cool there. I, I probably would have maybe gone with the uh, winged coaster just to kind of make it feel like you're a bird soaring over the, all the uh, Colossi here. Now, I, I was kind of correct that the, the single rail Basilisk is the hardest to get smooth, and this one could have used a little bit more smoothing, a lot more smoothing in many of the sections. Um, it's a pretty cool concept, and I do like some of the, the terrain and the climbing on the Colossus. Now, what I would have probably spent a little bit more time on, even just a, an hour or two, you could have really gotten this track feeling a little bit more smooth as you're coming through this um, sandy area I think uh, you had the opportunity to really kind of explore the sand dunes like hug hug down below come back up hug it you, you did a pretty decent job but as I was riding this I was like oh it's just it's just missing its potential a little bit with a little bit more smoothing hugging that terrain coming back down and around up and down and you could just pull that terrain around a little bit more as you're uh, dipping and diving. And then same with this. I, what I would have even done is um, sunk it into the spine of this creature and got that smoothing just right and, and then had him uh, a little bit more wavy. He's a little bit straight and because he's a flying serpent thingy, um, I would have had that going up and down a little bit so that you could follow the contour of his spine with the coaster and still have that up and down flowy motion throughout. So that would be my feedback for this one, that the uh, coaster experience could have been just tuned a little bit further to really get that experience quite nice. But very cool creation overall. And uh, remember guys, if you want to vote at the end of every bracket, you will be able to vote and decide who are the top three winners for the video game co contest. And uh, so keep an eye on that. And that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight, everybody. If you enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you'd like to support the show, you could do so by becoming a patron. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next entry. Bye now. <laughs>